What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we have a Charmander Evolution team. Now, Charizard doesn't get much attention, right? So I thought I'd do a video on it today. It's such an underrated Pokemon, right? Just joshing people. Now, three years ago, I did a Evolution team for Charmander. If you haven't checked this one out, the link is in the description. I thought I'd never have to do this team again, but we have a G-Max Charizard. So hopefully Charizard doesn't get any more forms or anything like that in the future. Otherwise, we may be doing another one. I'm sure so many of you have checked that video out already, but maybe if you want to go back and have a watch after this one for old time's sake go give it a watch now uh we got a battle against nate this one was on my twitch if you guys want to check me out on twitch the link is in the description of the video thank you for all the people that came over for the animal crossing stream the other day it was absolutely uh, loads of fun all right this is a really interesting battle because i've only got four pokemon to use so we got charmander charmeleon charizard and charizard gmax so only four pokemon very difficult so we got a uh, interesting team my opponent's got here. It's got a Shuckle lead. So Shuckle's actually a very bulky Pokemon, and it's also very, very hard to get around with Fire-type Pokemon. So I thought, I'm going to start things off with my Charizard, because I expected them to go for the Shuckle as the lead. So we've got a Power Split there. Power Split is going to fail on my Charizard, which is super good. Now, this is a Belly Zard. Basically what it is, max speed, max attack, right? So we've got Belly Drum to boost my attack. We've got Subtune, and we've got the Salak Berry to boost my speed. Now, I was running Jolly Nature on this one. I want to get as much speed as possible, right? I've got Acrobatics as the move and Fire Punch too. So we've got the Shuckle going for the big old Rock Tomb there. Now, it's going to be super effective. However, Shuckle's got about one attack, so it's not going to do much damage to Charizard. And that's like literally the only time you ever see Charizard substitute not break to a Rock type move. Like, real talk. So go for the Fire Punch there. Shuckle is going to have that sturdy. It's going to be our slide that one real easy. I was actually low-key hoping for a burn. Now, we've got the Shuckle eating a little berry there inside of its shell. I think Shuckle eats berries inside of its shell. That's in its Pokedex entry. Uh, anyway, it's going to be a Citrus Berry. It's going to go for the Rock Tomb again on my Charizard, and that is going to break the uh, Subtute this time, which is good. So um, we got a uh, Subtute fading. Now, I could go for another Subtute here. I was actually looking at the rest of the team, and I was thinking, do they have any priority moves at all? Or, like, is there, like, a low chance they would have them? So I decided to go for one more sub -tune. That would put me on one health. The merch is available, people. Thank you, all the people who bought it. So we got that uh, sub up there. That's going to activate my Salic Berry and double the base power of Acrobatics. So obviously, if you've got no held items, Acrobatics is going to go from 55 times 2, so 110 uh, base power there. And it's going to be more powerful than Fire Punch, too. However, Fire Punch with the ability Blaze is going to be a little bit more powerful. Well, they're both going to be pretty powerful, right? So the uh, ability on this one was Blaze, too. So I uh, go for the... Uh, uh, we're going for the Acrobatics Analyst and going for the Blazer. And uh, Crustle is going to live with a Sturdy. So another Sturdy Pokemon there, which is going to be kind of annoying. And another Berry. Man, where are all these Berries coming from? This is uh, very annoying. So we got the uh, Leechy Berry there going for the Stone Edge. Man, that was really, really risky. But then I'm thinking about Crustle's physical attack, right? It's got Earthquake. It's got X Scissor. It probably had to go for Stone Edge there. So that's my substitute. I'm gone. I'm on one health. That's good. I can go for the Acrobatics here and take this Crustle out. Now, Crustle normally has Shell Smash and uh, Focus Sash, but there was no way it had the room to actually set that one up right. So that was good getting rid of that. Now, we've taken two Pokemon out, but the battle itself is still four Pokemon versus five. So they still had the lead there. That four Pokemon are sort of... Uh, that real disadvantage only having four Pokemon. So we got the Shuckle coming in here. Shuckle cannot do anything else here. I know that it doesn't have like Rocky Helm or anything like that. And Charizard is going to put it down with a Fire Punch. So it's four all now. The battle has evened up. Charizard's got me back into this battle. But uh, don't worry, people. This battle is far from over. So the next Pokemon we got is uh, Golospod. Now, this was the Pokemon I was worried about for a long time. Golospod is a really, really cool shiny too. Uh, it, it's basic, but it looks very, very cool. Always, actually, always like uh, Golospod. That's one of my, uh, you know, favorite Pokemon for the gen there. So I was thinking really hard here. I'm like, it's either going to go for Aqua Jet, Liquidation, or Sucker Punch, or First Impression. Something like that, right? And I cannot swap any other Pokemon to that, right? If it does predict me going for a swap there. So I'm just going to have to let Charizard go down. There was there was every chance we could have gone for a Liquidation on my incoming Pokemon. Then I would have wasted my Belly Drum boost, and then it could have gone for Sucker Punch or something, or Aqua Jet afterwards. So now we're going to go into the Charmander. This Charmander was a counter set. We got Protect, Counter, Overheat, uh, and Dragon Breath, so I can... Uh, 
put my dragon breath on them. Okay, anyway, so we got the, we got the ability as Blaze. What would dragon the dragon breath would probably be like it would be like I was gonna say dragon breath would probably be fire, but it'd probably be pretty smelly too. So we got the focus ash there, and we got the counter, and Golos Pod is gonna get absolutely dumpstered in one shot. I was actually waiting for a focus sash there or a focus bed. So we got our Golos Pod down, which is really good. We got three more Pokemon remaining in this battle, and I've got Charmander. So Charmander's not much chop after it's used as uh you know, uh, it's counter. It's pretty much done after that. I can get a pretty powerful Blaze Overheat off. Now, Set of Scorch is going to come in. I was thinking, there's probably a good chance this is going to have uh, Flash Fire. Uh, should I go for Dragon Breath? But what if the off chance it didn't have Flash Fire? I'm just going to go for Overheat and see. And I went for the Overheat, and it's, it must have White Smoke instead, which is uh, super cool. So I do over half health to that Set of Scorch which is uh, really, really nice there. Now we've got the Coil Sienna Scorch. This is going to be a bulky set. Now, I know this thing's uh, physical moves off by heart, so it's got stuff like Leech Life, uh, Crunch. It'll probably have Fire Lash as its other move too. I don't think it'll have a recovery move. I think it'll have something like that. Or if it doesn't have Crunch, it'll have like Rest. That's what I was thinking at the moment. So I've done over half health. It's pretty good at the moment. I was thinking maybe I could go for a Dragon Breath and go for the like the Parahax, maybe. That would be like super, super handy. Then I can bring in one of my other Pokemon, uh, and which you definitely don't know. And and take it out. So we're going to go breathe on that little centipede a little bit. It's going to go for a leech life. And Charmander is going to go down. But man, Charmander did really good there. It put a good old den in Sienna Scorch. And it took out the Golos Pod with a fair counter to the face. So we got a couple more Pokemon left. We've got two more Pokemon and the Sienna Scorch. So now we're going to bring in Charmeleon. This Charmeleon set was uh, pretty bulky. It took a lot of, uh, you know, people I battle off guard. So we got a Fire Spin, Toxic, Rest Sleep. Got a classic Pimp Knight set. Basically a classic Pimp Knight set here. Uh, look at that crunch damage. Now, this is more uh, special defensive than defensive, but that Everlight and Max Self actually enabled me to tank those moves a little bit better than normal. So go for the uh, Toxic there. Now, since I know that it's not like Flash Fire or anything like that, I can go easily go for that uh, Fire Spin. I can, I can spin that Flames around that. I mean, really, if you use Fire Spin against Center Scorch, it actually shouldn't do anything because it's not fire around already that's never ever made sense to me then again it's, it's pokemon logic right so uh they were thinking about a fair like a fair long while about what they should do here i was thinking maybe they've got rest or something like that and uh they're gonna go for a crunch there crunch is a three hit ko against my charmeleon that was bulky on the special side and we're gonna go for that fire spin and fire spin there and the toxic damage is gonna be enough to take the center scorch out they lived on one health for a second and uh that's really good so charmeleon pulling its weight there uh this pokemon is like the the i guess is the swap in Pokemon to uh, any sort of like really powerful attacks. Now, even really powerful attacks could get through this on the special side as well. It wasn't, I mean, when you look at a Charmander evolution team, it's not exactly what you call bulky. All right, so speaking of uh, bulky against a Charmander or Charmeleon or Char Charizard team, we got Frostmoth coming in here. So I could literally take this out with like. A Tinder. I mean an Ember. All right, so we can go for the Ember here. Ember's gonna be hot. We can go for a Fire Spin. Anything will take this out. So we got a uh, we got an Ice Beam. Charmeleon lives the Ice Beam, and we're gonna get that Fire Spin off on the Frost Moth, almost taking it out. That was a hindering and special attack. <laughs> that, was, that was hindering and special attack. <laughs> okay, so Frost Moth almost gets bodied by a hindering special attack Charmeel in there with fire speed. This is content. All right, so we got another ice beam there. Where's this firing? I think it's firing it from its stomach and Charmeel is gonna go down. So we've only got one more Pokemon left and that is Cherryzard. So they actually, act they really need that crit earlier on because I could have got like a, let, let's face it, it was going to go down to a fire type move anyway. So we're going to bring in our Pokemon Labs uh, Charizard. I mean, my normal Charizard. And this one is a, this one's a pretty sweaty set. I had to run this one uh, like as best as I possibly could because when you look at my team, right, I really need one solid Pokemon. And the other, the two Charizards were like the carry for this team, right? The other ones were sort of like memes. If I could get you know, one or two KOs, it would be really, really good. So go for that G-Max Charizard here. I had to go for the shiny one, guys. And I had to finish the team off beautifully. And there it is. I must admit, even though all the Charizard memes are having like a million different forms and Megas and all that, it does look rather good. And G-Max Wildfire looks very, very nice too. Had to use G-Max Wildfire. So the cool thing about G-Max Wildfire, as well as the animation, it does do that uh, damage on the... Um, you know, end of the turn, which is really, really nice too. That gets around any sturdy Pokemon, uh, or Pokemon that live with the Focus Sash, or Pokemon that live on like one health, and you'll take them out at the end of the turn. So Frostmoth, I think Frostmoth's entire family tree actually got KO'd then. Like, I literally extincted it. There's no way you'll ever see one after this. 
All right, you may have noticed they've got a mono bug team, which is super, super cool. Now we've got the Vicar Bolt sliding in here. Now, the only thing I'm thinking about to myself, right, is Vicar Bolt hasn't Dynamax yet. And Vicar Bolt isn't exactly what you call a frail Pokemon, especially on the special side, right? So now we've got the Dynamax at Vicar Bolt, and it's also shiny, which looks like super, super cool. That, that shiny, um, that silver on there, silver and green actually looks a little bit mean, if you know what I'm saying. So we've got the big, big old Vicar Bolt here. Man, imagine that using Guillotine. Like, there was one video, I think, it was pretty recently. Um, I got chopped up by like a guillotine bickerball. Man, your your you, you, your your career would be ended if you got guillotine by that. So go for that G Max wildfire there. I need as much damage as possible. Bickerball tanks it. It must have been max health. Uh, for sure there, and it's going to go for a Max Lightning on my Charizard, and Charizard does not have the Vault, Vicar Vault does, and it, it my friends, is going to go down. A very, very close battle there in the end. It was actually pretty funny that the uh, Mono Bug team did pretty well against my uh, Fire team there. However, there was some good Pokemon. There was Crustle, Golospod as well, and, you know, Center Scorch. So those Pokemon are pretty good, and of course, Vicar Vault too, which is super effective against both my Charizards. Thank you for the battle, man. That was a really, really close one. And um, there's nothing I could have done there. I needed, like, a little bit more damage. All right. Let's get on to the second battle. This is a battle against Thomas. And Thomas actually brought four Pokemon, too. This one was... Uh, I think this one was also on my stream, I believe. I'm going to have a quick little sip of water. Mm. Okay. Now, the first Pokemon we got sliding in here is the Sil Valley. And this Sil Valley is a normal type. So, we've got the Charmander's Valley. I was thinking, okay... They could go for a multi-attack and sword dance, something along those lines. Hopefully, they don't go for a parting shot. So, I went for protect because you got to protect yourself some, guys. you got to win. you got to wear your protection, all right? So, we're going for that protection, and it's a special set with the serve. I'm like, oh, no. Charmander can't do anything. So, i got to swap out my Charmander and go into Charmeleon because I was thinking, I might be able to tank this right with my, you know, my bulky Charmeleon. They may get a little bit overconfident and uh, see what happens. So, Charmeleon absolutely eats that serve. So, so good there. And I was thinking, should I go for Fire Spin or should I go for Toxic? I was thinking, nah, I'll get this thing poisoned and then I can sort of like trap it in there. They don't know that I've got any recovery yet, right? So we got another Surf from the Sil Valley. Surf is a clear four hit KO. Um, if it does crit me, it's going to turn into a three hit KO real quick. So we got the Toxic up on the Sil Valley. I really wanted that Toxic landing. Like there's a couple of situations I had some battles, right, where Toxic missed. Like, that really, really sucks, right? Especially if you go for Sleep Talk. You get Toxic, and you really need to hit it, and it misses, and then you get Rest the next set. That, that, that literally sums me up, like, most of the time, right? So I'm going to go for a uh, Fire Spin here. I said, Actually, sorry, I've got a Rest of this one. So I went for the Rest there because I knew that I wouldn't be able to outspeed and live the next one. So going for Rest, and that's going to be a smart play, right? They've got to make the decision either stay in, keep going for Surfs, or swap something else in and, get, like, risk getting hit by another Toxic. Now, they don't know that I've got Rest, uh, rest Sleep Talk at the moment. They didn't... Like, obviously, they know that I've got Everlight, right? I'm too bulky. But I'm thinking they probably know that I've got some way of using Sleep Talk. Or maybe I just went to sleep. I don't know. Usually, when I see a Rest Pokemon, I think they've got Sleep Talk, right? And, or if you don't see a Chester, bro, normally they've got that, right? So, we've got another Surfer. They decide to stay in. They want to take my Charmeleon down. Maybe thinking I don't have a way to attack while I'm asleep. I mean, I, I, I wish I had Snore on this one. But then, you know, Sleep Talk's going to do. So, go for that uh, Sleep Talk on the Charmeleon. And I get Fire Spin. Now, this is actually a really huge play here because Toxic is going to start racking up. I think this is about the... Oh, I think that's the third turn of Toxic. And we got the Fire Spin. Now, Fire Spin's obviously trapping them in there. And that's, uh, you know, they can't actually swap out. Unless they had something like Parting Shot. That's about the only way they could get out. Um, I'm trying to think of any other moves that would learn to... Nope, it's probably going to be Parting Shot. So, we got another Surf from the Charmeleon. Oh, sorry, not Surf. Surf Charmeleon, guys! Man, Surf Charmeleon. That would actually be really good. Can we get a Surf Charmeleon event? And then you can have Charizard with Surf. Man, that would actually be really, really good. So we got another Sleep Talk here. And, 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 and I get rest. Okay, so that, that fails. I mean, I, I'm expecting now, guys. you got to get Sleep Talk and rest a couple of times. That's all part of the memes. So we got the uh, Fire Spin there. Still Valley's going to be able to live uh, one more turn here. And I can pretty much, instead of going for a Fire Spin, there's no point in me going for Fire Spin. I may as well just go to sleep again the next turn. So Still Valley really needs a critical hit here from the Surf to actually take me out. And it is not going to get the Surf. Uh, sorry, the crit there. And I'm going to wake up and use Rest. I almost said I'm going to wake up and use Surf. So Charmeleon is just basically all it's done. It's Toxic, this Silk Valley. It's done a little bit of fire out and just slept most of the battle. And uh, we've taken out. So they must be pretty frustrated at the moment. They probably didn't... I don't reckon they expected that, that them to ever lose against a Charmeleon. Especially a bulky Charmeleon like that. Okay. The next Pokemon coming in is the Gyarados. Now, this is where the battle started to get... 
a little bit strange. Like, this was super... This was whack. Like, that, that i got to say that. You'll see ya. So, we got the Hydro Pump from the Garrus. I'm like, okay, special Garrus. I was expecting, like, you know, a physical physical Moxie one, right? So, that hits me reasonably hard. And not too much harder than the Surf was. Like, if you look at the... Uh, I'd say it's about, about the range of the Sil Valley Surf may be a little bit strong. So, go for the uh, Sleep Talk and Toxic Misses. That there was one of those misses that actually really count. Like, I really needed that to hit. Because now my second sleep talk, you know, um, I'm probably going to get hit really hard. Especially because they're going to Dynamax their Gyarados. So, I was like, okay, I should be able to live easily another... Well, not easily, just comfortably another uh, Hydro Pump from the Gyarados, right? Because they're running a special Gyarados. So, and they've also burn up their Dynamax Pokemon too. So this is their first turn, and the first turn's got to be used up on Charmeleon. The second turn's probably going to be used up on Charmeleon too. So we got the Max Geyser from the Gyarados here, and this Gyarados hits me really hard. I'm like, what? That did way too much damage. I was doing the calcs on my head, and even like, even at max damage, there's no way that should have taken me out. I was like, what the... What's going on here, man? You know, what, what's, what's happening? That, that's Hydro Pump? What's going on? Anyway, so they get a Moxie boost. I'm like, okay, that doesn't matter that they're running a special set, right? So now we're going to bring in my own Charizard here. This is my G-Max Charizard. Now I'm thinking right here, I need to get rid of this rain. I'm probably going to have to go for a Dynamax, but I can't use my G-Max Wildfire. Um, I'm going to have to use a Max Rockfall off Ancient Power, right? Now there was a Max Speed, Max Special Attack Charizard, a Timid Nature as well, and we had Blaze's ability. So I also, like, I wanted to get rid of that rain. Obviously, we didn't want to power up the water type moves anymore. And we wanted to go to Max Rockfall. Now, I know Gyarados is a very bulky Pokemon. And I was thinking, okay, I'm going to need a crit to one-shot this. There's no way I'm going to be able to like, one-shot a Gyarados. And uh, maybe I can get, like, you know, over half damage to it. And uh, we'll see what we do there. Like, I was in a very, very tough position. Now, good news, guys. I actually remember my Dynamax candies this time. Like, you, you got to give me a like. That, that, the video deserves a like just for that run. All right, so we're going to drop all the room real quick on top of Gyarados there. And it only does a tiny bit of damage. I was like, man, that did, like, nothing. So now the rain is gone and the sand is happening. So Charizard really doesn't like the sand. It doesn't really like the rain either. It really likes the sun. So we got another a Hydro Pump or Max... Uh, well, I thought it was a Hydro Pump and then Charizard goes down. So like, hang on. Hang on. This person has got... This thing must have a physical water type move. So they've got Hydro Pump and Waterfall, I'm assuming. So it's like... Why do they have Hydro Pump and Waterfall? That's that's really, really weird. So it's like a mixed Gyarados set. And of course, now the Moxies. But at this stage, freaking... I'm trying to think of like a a, like a really... Like Aqua Jet Gyarados will be able to take me out. So now we're going to go into the Charmander. So the problem about this is it's still in Dynamax, right? It's still got a lot of health. Now, Counter will scale off the original health of the Gyarados. So since it's in Dynamax, right, it's not going to be able to take it out even if it drives me down to one health, which of course it is with the Moxie. So now going for the counter, I've got the Focus Ash there, and uh, Charmander's Tail, guys, it didn't go out. So we're going for the counter, it doesn't quite take it out, and Gyarados is going to live. Now, say if Gyarados right used that now, I would have been able to take it out. That's the problem, but the, the extra health bar from Dynamax really messed me up there. So now I've got only got Dragon Breath from over here, and I'm like, oh, well, this is going to do nothing, I'll just do Dragon Breath. I actually, I actually outsped it, like, this is a bulky set, what the hell? And Dra Dragon Breath actually lives... And Gyarados is going to uh, take me out with a waterfall. Did I say Dragon Breath is going to live? Oh, man. I mean Gyarados. Well, I tried to breathe on a snake and it, it didn't work too well. That's what she said. Anyway, so we got that Moxie boost on the Gyarados. I'm going to bring in my last Pokemon, which is the Charizard. Now, this was my Belly Drum Charizard. I knew that I could out... Like, obviously, I could outspeed it. And Acrobatics could uh, beat it. Even Fire Punch could... Actually, I was thinking... After that, I was like, I'm going to disrespect Kale this guy with Fire Punch. Like, he tricked me the whole time with that mixed Gyarados from Hydro Pump. If... I mean, let, let's look at this, right? Say if I brought in... I don't think it would have changed the battle too much. I could have brought in my Charmander earlier on. The battle was still the same. Like, they, they hit that uh, physical set well. All right, so we got Haunter Hunt here. I can't do much this at all. I can go for a sub here. I went for the sub in case I went for a Sucker Punch or something like that or a Reflect. And instead of going for that, they went for Focus Blast. I'm like, what? Why are they going for Focus Blast? I'm starting to wonder, right? Maybe they're trying to drop my special defense. Like, what are they doing? Like, they've got... Okay, Focus Miss, right? They could have a, a fairy-type move. It's not going to do much to Charizard. If this is a fully special 
Grim Snarl set. They, they, they can't do a lot, even if they like dank pulse. So go for the belly drum. I thought this would be a good opportunity to go for that. Grim Snarl's fairly bulky. I'm going to need probably, you know, I reckon without a belly drum, probably would have taken me maybe three fire punches to get through it. And we got the dazzling gleams. So like, okay, they clearly have nothing to hit my Charizard with, like, at all. They still got a, like, a few Pokemon left as well. So that is going to crit me. So with the focus miss and the dazzling crit, uh, that's going to get rid of my uh, Charizard sub. Now I was thinking, do they have Sucker Punch? They hit a physical move before. Should I go for Substitute or should I go for the attacking move? I decide to go for the Substitute, get that free sub up, and get my uh, boost in Acrobatics as well, you know, and get that Salic Berry boost, which would be pretty nice on the Charizard. So getting that boost up on the Charizard, and we got the... We got a Mega Kick. What is this set? We got... <laughs> what is this set? I know, why did they went for a fist, like a special move, like Dazzling Gleam? They didn't want to miss. So Mega Kick's accuracy is really awful. I think it's like 75%. It's not a move you ever, ever see, like, at all. So go for the Fire Punch there. Grim Style's going to get punched, and it's going to go down. We've got one more Pokemon left remaining, because remember, they had four Pokemon at the start of this battle. I don't even know. Like, this person's sets were absolutely whack. That Gyarados was crazy. So was that Grim Style. Like, I think they had all of them mixed sets. Maybe that Sil Valley had a physical type move, too. All right. The last Pokemon is, I can't even say it's like Melophy. Oh, I don't know. Is, is that is that like a different language or is it just like a nickname? I'm not sure. So go for the acrobatics and Clefairy is going to go back to the moon. That is the battle for today. Hope you enjoyed both these. Enjoy the bloopers and bonus battle. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Check out that other Charizard team.